people are only just becoming aware of what the dangers might be if their uh, if their systems, if their solutions are not are not secure. Um, and it is up to the industry to uh, to find solutions for that. And there are many solutions around. They're going to be relying on somebody to have uh, pulled all this together and to provide the compatibility between the devices. And you follow a set of instructions and install it and, and, and then it works. Trust is the main issue. It's trusting the, uh, the supplier that uh, is, uh, is, is providing all of this, that they're going to do the right thing and be able to control it in the right way. Um, and that provides many opportunities for some of the um, market players out there at the moment. The environment that we have now is a much more noisy environment with potential hacking going on and cybercrime and so forth than it used to be. And uh, we just need to get used to that idea. It's a new dimension. So for systems it, becomes, it needs to become a a new part of the specification to deal with that. How do you deal with the noise of that stuff in the environment? And I think that uh, what market players are doing now is, is heading towards that. And that's, that's all really good stuff. The difficulty that we have in the marketplace is that everybody believes, uh, most people believe, that um, security should be free, that it should be costless, and it's not because it costs a lot to do it, it costs a lot to create it. Um, people need to understand the value that uh, can come from security versus not having security. It's no longer an option, really.